This video is brought to you by Audible. Hey, what's up there, YouTube? Ben here with another quick video for you guys today. Now, this is just going to be a quick unboxing and first impressions video of the new LG G3 that was just released on Verizon about a week ago. Uh, so without any further ado, let's get into the video right now. Alright guys, so here we are back in the video. Uh, so here is the LG G3 for Verizon. Uh, so as you can see, the box itself already looks nice. It kind of has a bronze uh, look to it, uh, a two-tone kind of silverish bronze look. So you got a kind of silverish bronze here, and then obviously for the G3 logo, it's uh, kind of regular silver. And then also for the Verizon logo, and then down here it shows that it was a Global Mobile Awards winner uh, for innovation of 2014. And so that's definitely cool. You know you're getting a nice good looking phone right off the bat And you know it's gonna be good for you as well uh, But anyways, let's get into the unboxing itself So first off we'll go ahead and slide this little flap off here the slip that it has underneath it And so it looks pretty similar to the actual box itself And then we'll go ahead and take the top of the box off here for you guys there we go and here is the LG G3 so I went with the white and black version just because in the store the black version didn't appeal to me that much even though that's the one I was planning on getting but actually seeing it in person I ended up liking this one better uh, but we'll go ahead and set this to the side for now okay here and now let's go ahead and get into the rest of the box so as you can see you have your uh, instruction manuals for people that want to get to know their phone most people aren't going to look at this i know i'm not i know probably all of you guys watching aren't going to but if you're new to smartphones it may be something you want to go ahead and look at and then also in here you have the micro usb charging cable set this aside here and your wall wart slash ac power adapter here to connect your USB cable in so you can charge it faster versus charging it on your computer or something like that. Uh, but that's pretty much it with the unboxing itself. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get the phone powered up right now. And I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. Uh, so I'll go ahead and stop the video for now, then I'll get right back into this. All right, guys. So here is the phone itself. So I did go ahead and cheat just a little bit. So I don't like my phone stock. So uh, I did go ahead and root this thing. Uh, that only took me about 15 minutes to do so. Uh, the good thing about root is it's not ROM or anything. So the phone is still exactly stock. You just have super user permission. So I think that's something everyone should do. But again, that's just me. Uh, you guys definitely know, don't have to go ahead and do this. Uh, uh, but I did also go ahead and set up my standard home screen. So before buying the device, I did go ahead and back up on my computer, uh, my uh, titanium backup and put that so I could go ahead and just copy and paste it to this phone. And so that way I didn't have to reinstall every single app and also re-sign into every single app. So titanium backup is a definitely a very nice uh, app to have. But again, you do need to be rooted to use that. Uh, so that's one reason why I had to do that right away. Uh, so the first thing you guys are going to notice about this phone is it looks really really nice so uh, the most unique feature about this is of course the back side uh, you do have the buttons on the back that started with the LG G2 and so that way you don't have to worry about having the buttons on the side uh, so that way they could make the phone a little bit smaller and also make the phone basically so it's all screen so minus the top and bottom uh, where you have the Verizon logo because of course Verizon always likes to love that for whatever reason uh, loves to add that I should say and then the LG logo on the bottom uh, you do have the rest of the phone basically essentially all screen which is definitely very nice another unique feature of this device of course is going to be the knock-on feature so even though the the buttons are on the back you're essentially never even going to need to use those either because you do have that nice feature uh, where you can go ahead and uh, just turn the phone on and off without needing to actually even touch the buttons itself so as you guys already saw I did go ahead and set this up for the most part here so I do have my standard home screen that I like to have on you know all of my devices if you want to uh, find out how you can make this home screen yourself you can go ahead and check out my other videos uh, the how to make your home screen look awesome video uh, that'll definitely uh, teach you how you can go ahead and make your home screen look like this if it's something that you like and then also I do have a 
2K resolution wallpaper, so that way I am taking um, use of that display, and it looks absolutely amazing. So if you saw MKBHD's video, it is definitely noticeable. You're not going to notice it with other 1080p stuff. So again, most things are still only in 720p and 1080p resolution, so it's not taking full advantage of the screen yet. But also the device is future-proof, so when more flagships do get 2K displays, like the Note 4, which is rumored to have it, I would assume uh, the Samsung Galaxy S6 will go ahead and have that. Um, more apps, more videos, more wallpapers, and so on and so forth are going to be able to take care of this, uh, take use of this display, I should say, and it's going to look absolutely phenomenal. All right, and so taking a closer look at the device, you're going to notice again, you have the Verizon logo on the top, LG logo on the bottom, and then uh, it's nice that you have the nice black screen, and then they even made it so it is still surrounded by white, so when it is facing you, you do have that kind of two-tone look to it, so that's definitely nice, makes the screen pop out at you a little bit more and then on the back of the device of course Verizon still likes to add more of their logo so you have the Verizon 4G LTE logo LG's logo you got the speaker grill and which is actually pretty good as well and then of course you got the laser focus feature uh, the LED flash and of course the camera and the buttons for the phone uh, right there too and then on the side of the device on the side of the device uh, you do have the nice little chrome accents around the whole thing kind of also similar to the Note 3 so I'm glad they kept that here so that way the device doesn't look all you know bland just being one color some people might like that but personally I like it looking a little bit more flash here all right guys and so that's about it for this video we'll go ahead and leave it at that uh, but first off uh, let's go ahead and take one last look at our sponsor all right guys so today's sponsor is audible so audible is the leading source and provider in audiobooks that you can go ahead and get either online on your iPhone Android phone tablet Kindle it doesn't really matter and the great thing about this is and why it's so great is you can listen to your favorite books whether you're in the car working out or even eating food or something like that you don't have to go ahead and worry about getting your hands dirty so if you want to go ahead and get a free audiobook of your choice a personal favorite of mine is going to be uh, the hobbit or game of thrones or something like that you can go ahead and go to audibletrial.com forward slash black blizzard and get your own free audiobook in 30 day trial all right guys so uh thanks again for watching this video if you liked it be sure to give it a thumbs up also i'll have a full review coming here in the next coming weeks so definitely give this a like if you want to see that also uh, leave your thoughts in the comment sections below on what you guys think about this device initially is it something that you guys already have is it something you guys are considering getting uh, what do you guys want to see in my review video definitely leave that in the comment sections below as well so I know what you guys want to see particularly and then also um, just let me know what you guys think about the 2k display do you guys think if it, it do you guys think it's a gimmick right now if it's kind of pointless or useless on a phone um, go ahead and leave your thoughts in the comment sections and I'll be sure to reply to as many of you as I can and I will go ahead and check you guys in the next one.